Right, and now we have we have descended and we are we are in business. Now unfortunately we can't climb this ledge here. We just can't do it. But we can kill these uh, enemies, which I'm going to do because that makes more sense to me. Why wait when you can kill them now? Oh, poor Hadoba, she can't move. But luckily, I'm just going to set these guys up for the next, uh, the next rad. Damn you, Arthur. We can't use the halberd anymore. Ah, okay, so his, uh, I was just, I actually listened to what he was saying there, and he said, Niga e. I mean, that, that basically just means, he's basically goading, or taunting the people's, uh, the opponent saying, it's okay to run away. Because obviously you're so fucking scared of him, because he's awesome! Campbell there, no mess, no fuss, just death. Okay, that's good. Oh, unfortunately that Hydra is just too far away to be attackable. I think I'll, I'll just leave my characters down here and I'll have them all get together. I have them all get together. And then Salifoth has won. Do, 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 do. In a battle like this, it's kind of really hard to get the. To get a good angle. There's just so many different levels. The bubbling magma. Bubbling magma. Hooray for massive movement. <laughs> oh, Robbie. If only you were a female robot. Oh, that's a shame. Slowed him down, goddamn acid breath. But the good news is it's brought him within range. Unfortunately, there's no one left to attack him. I'm assuming it's a him. Or at least one of those heads is a male. As you can see, the way that the uh, the raising of the levels works over at the edge there, it's probably going to cause a bit of a bit of a problem in terms of assaulting the boss. Come on, Hazuki, one hit kill, one hit kill. Ah, oh, damn it! Freeze all Zephyrus, freeze all Zephyrus, freeze all Zephyrus. There we Zephyrus. Yeah, sorry guys, you're going to be seeing Zephyrus again. I mean, Zephyrus is one of those spells for me in the game. That really proves that the Saturn, 
the Saturn was packing, you know. I mean, one of one of my one of my never ending never ending torturous moments back in the day when I was at school was just being made fun of because I owned a Saturn instead of a PlayStation 1 or an N64. I mean, I, I think if anyone owned a Saturn and they were of school age and the Saturn was the only thing that they owned, I, th I think you can even, f you know, you understand that pain. The Saturn Brotherhood. Everyone was always making fun of you. Oh, you got a Saturn, you fucking gay. Uh, what's the matter? Can't you fucking afford an N64? What's the matter? You're not cool enough to have a PlayStation 1 fucking Saturn. What's that? I mean, to be fair, the Saturn was more difficult to program for, and it meant that third party wise it ended up suffering quite a lot. But when you've got, when you've got developers that knew what they were doing, I mean, and this is the result, I mean, shit. I mean, give me this. I'll take this any day of the week. Any day. Okay, that's fine. Let's hope that slow spell wears off. Because that's what Acid Breath basically is. It's basically just a slow spell. I'm not sure how much further I want my characters to get ahead of the curve here, but we'll see. Damaric, why are you even fucking here? I must admit, I like Damaric being... You know, being along for the ride, because, I mean, it's obviously it makes sense in the story and all that sort of stuff, but... Really, it's... On, on another level, it's like, you know... I'm not really sure it adds anything. I mean, why, why, you know, unlike, say, just being there as a supervisor, like Grantax style, where it's like, you know, I mean, I'm assuming Grantax here with you, but you don't have to watch him fucking dodder about like a retard. I mean, I get that it's like, you know, ups the stakes as if Demeric dies, then, then, you know, you have to start again and stuff, but it's not even, you know, in this battle, it's completely fucking worthless. Oh, I don't know. It just takes up loads of bloody turns. That's it, we're all together now, baby. Pinkle, 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 pinkle. So we're about halfway through the map now. As you can see, this is like what the third video of this battle, and we're only halfway through the map. Like I say, I keep on saying, you know, about the length of the battles and stuff. Shit, just wait till we get to the end of scenario three. And I say, if you want to see some real fucking time, then wait until we get to the end of the premium disc. I'll have to think of some jokes to tell or or something by the time we get to that final boss. Probably take about fucking two hours just to kill him. And the worst part about it is that unlike last time I can't resort to cheap tactics. Because it's an audience. Let's see, Kenko. Alright, I'll, I'll keep a spot open for you, love. Mm. 
Now, once again, I doubt she's actually going to be able to do anything in this battle. 